guys, and welcome to my video. In this video, I'll be teaching you the basics of Windows Movie Maker. Note that there are better movie editing softwares already out there, such as Sony Vegas 9 Pro Edition and Camtasia Studio 7.0. But in case you can't afford them, or just prefer Windows Movie Maker, you're in luck. Because today, I'm going to teach you the basics of Windows Movie Maker. Okay, so when you open Windows Movie Maker, it should look something like this. Unless you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, the only difference will be is the interface. What I mean by that is the look of the whole program will be more stylish and classy, because it's a new edition of course, and Microsoft want to show off. Otherwise, in terms of effects and transitions, there is no difference whatsoever. I just wanted to clear that up before we started. So now that that's cleared up, we can begin. Okay, the first thing you want to do is either import a video, picture, or audio or music file. For the purposes of this video, I'll be importing a video file. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. I like it. Okay, note, when importing a video file, the bigger the file, the longer it'll take to upload. The smaller the file, the less time it'll take to upload. But I guarantee you, with any small clip, it'll not take longer than 20 seconds. If it does, it's not a small clip. That's how I see it. Okay, once the video has loaded, you should see it appear at your collections box, which is just this area over here. Now I'm going to drag my video file into the timeline. And now you have successfully added a video file to your timeline. The next thing we're going to do is import an audio or music file. To do this, we're going to go up here and click import audio or music. And I'm going to select this one. I like this. OK. Loaded almost instantaneously on a video file, obviously. <laughs> OK. As you'll notice, um, the video file is much shorter than my audio file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the timeline to get to the end of the video file and then I'm going to use the cut option which will split the one clip into two so that the rest of the audio I can just delete. Um, you guys might not get that so I'm going to show it to you. But you guys will have to bear with me as you'll have to just listen to the first few seconds of the song. I promise it's nice. Okay? Please bear with me. As you can see, I've cut the file exactly, so now I'm just going to right-click the other half of the file, and I'm going to click delete. And there you have it. I have an exactly audio synced video file. The next thing I'm going to do is add an effect, a transition, and make a title and a credit. So the first thing you want to do is go to make titles or credits. And as you can see, you can add a title at the beginning of the movie, a title before the selected clip, a title on the, your selected clip, and a title after your selected clip. And of course, credits at the end. Where would Microsoft Windows Movie Maker be without a Star Wars finish? <laughs> Sorry if you guys didn't get that, but still. Okay, I'm going to add a title at the beginning of the movie, and I'm going to call it Hope You Enjoyed. If you look on the right, you can see that's a little preview box that'll show up. Okay, I'm just gonna add um, this animation. You can see it over there. And I'm gonna change this color to green and the background color to black. And I'm just gonna change the font to Times New Roman. I like that font. Of course, you can do whichever one you want. There's a variety you can pick from. Then I'm gonna click Done. And as you can see, it gets added to the timeline. Okay, so and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have half of the text by itself and half of it leading into the video file. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to click on the video file, I'm going to make sure the hand symbol is on there, and I'm just going to drag it towards the text file until this little blue line kind of protrudes into the text file like that. And okay, and now we're going to watch the preview to see how it looks. Yeah, okay. As you can see, my text file ended with my video file coming out halfway through my text file. 
If you guys didn't get that, you can go back and look at it. But that's how it's done. So I don't know how much time I have left, so I'm just going to quickly add some effects and transitions. These are the effects. As I said before, on Windows Vista and Windows 7, the version of Windows Movie Maker, it might show the transitions and effects a, a little bit differently. But they're all the same. All you do to add an effect is just drag the effect on the selected picture or video. Okay, but I don't want any, so I'm just going to leave it. And um, you just need to click on one and click play, and it'll give you a preview of that effect. Okay, next we're going to do is transitions. Um, a transition is basically um, a thing you can use when you want to change one picture to another picture, or a video to a picture, or a picture to a video. I'll give you a little bit of preview of that if you don't really get it. Okay, I'm going to select this one and look at the preview. Yeah, the page kind of flips over to the next picture. That's what I'll do in the video. But I don't want one. Okay, so now it's just left to make credits at the end of the movie. I'm going to be, hope you enjoyed. I'm going to type that in once more. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that's right spelling. Yeah, okay. Done, add title to the movie. Um... Ooh, wait, I just want to add a nice title animation. <laughs> yeah, I'm like that. Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, I think I did the best one possible. Okay, so now my video is to what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my movie file. Um, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to click save movie file. <laughs> a bit obvious, but... Over here you can select to save it to your computer, a recordable CD, an email, the web, or DVD camera. I'm going to select computer. Now you can change the name. I'm going to call it movie. Okay, and now you can just change the settings of it, like the quality. Yeah, you can change the quality, how good you want it to look. You can select best quality for playback for, on my computer. Mm, that will basically make a computer generate the best quality it can for playback on your computer. Okay, then other settings is just um, the one you want to pick, high quality video, small, large. Okay, and then you click next and it'll save your movie file and it'll give you an estimate time of how long it'll take. I said this before and I'm going to say it again. The larger the file, the more time it'll take. The smaller the file, the less time it'll take. Obviously, I don't want to make my movie, so I'm just going to click cancel, but that's it's done. Our movie has to be saved, or you want to save me, i Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed my video. This is Tipping Tips. See you next time.